today we are now going to do question I of 2021. Look at this sequence, ain't it familiar? Well, all math nerds with you are deja vu right now because this sequence is called Sylvester's sequence. And do you know that all the reciprocals on the terms in Sylvester's sequence all add up to one? I'm not lying, go check out the Wikipedia page or the math world page or anything that you could find. If you have a math book in the dad's house, that in with your dad, that's perfectly fine. Just go find Sylvester's sequence again. And you can't use Wikipedia or math world. So, it follows that for all n is greater than or equal to 1. Let's try the conventional method first. So, bn is the product, a n b n minus 1. a n is 1 more than the product of all previous terms. Great. So, a n plus 1, because this is b n, a n plus 1 minus 1 equals the A n A n minus 1. So this means A n plus 1 equals the A n A n minus 1 plus 1. And then we shift everything, change the subscript, substitute, then bam, you got answer B. Well, another way to check this is by using the hard slot method, and that's what I did in the first place. So Obviously, this can't be a linear equation, linear recursive, can't be exponential growth, because this is clearly not exponential. This cannot be quadratic, because one more than a part of all previous terms doesn't sound quadratic, but it has to be one of the above. And C, well, you go try this, you get a mess. So this is also wrong. And then you know the recursive formula for Sylvester's sequence? This might be the one you're looking for, B. Well, you can go check these out yourself, uh, substitute the values for A, and you'll be perfectly fine. Let's try B and C. 2, okay, let's try 2, 3, 7, 43, and I don't know what to go away after, that's all I remember. So 2, twice this, 4 times 2 minus 3, plus 7 is Three, seven. That's a nice way. So let's try it. We still get forty-three. So twice seven. Seven minus three plus seven equals two. Eighty-six plus seven equals two. Sixty-three. Wait, this is a forty-three. So C is out. And so the answer is B. Well, this provides a handy way to check out sequences, adding you know the name and even the recursive formula of the sequence. That's even better, because then you get to solve the question instantaneously. And that's what I like to do in my free time, search up random names of sequences so that I can solve MAT questions faster. Well, see you in another MAT video.